Now in this section we will talk about if else. In the if statement alone tells us that if a condition is true it will execute a block of statement and if the condition is false it won't. But what if we want to do something else if the condition is false. Here comes the else statement. We can use the else statement with if statement to execute a block of code when the condition is false. For example, you can see in this picture or in this flowchart that if the radius of a circle is greater than 0, then, then it will calculate the area of circle and it will print the area of that circle. And if the condition is false, then it will go to the another flow and it will print that input is not valid. That means if it will give any negative value, then it will print that input is not valid. So let's jump into the coding section and I'll show you how to do that. So before that, you can see here that we have a we have syntax of a if else statement. First, you have to type the keyword if and the condition which we already show in the previous section also and the block of code which you want to execute in the if block. And in the else part, we have to write our logic or we have to write our code if the condition is false. That means execute this block if the condition is false. Now see one example. So this is our example and you can see that we declared pi 3.14 also declared radius 2 and we have written our condition if the radius is greater than 0 then it will calculate radius into radius then pi. This is the formula to calculate area of a circle then we are printing the area of circle using print and if the condition is false then we are printing that it input is not valid. So if you will run here you can see that now it is calculating the area of circle but if I'll give a negative symbol before the radius then this condition will be false and it will go to the else part and this time this will print input is not valid. So let's run. So now you can see that input is not valid. So this is how you can use the else part inside a if condition. Now let's see one more example. So this is another example where you can see that we declared i variable and this is initialized with value 10 and we are checking this condition if i is less than 10 then it will show that i is smaller than 15 and it will print that i am in the if block and if this condition is false then it will go to this else part and it will say that i is greater than 15 and print i am in the else block. Also, you know that if the indentation is different, then this printf is not a part of else because the indentation is different. So this is not part of our if else statement. Now you can see that our value of i is 10 and if you will run it, you will get the output that i is smaller than 15. So it will go to this part because the in this in this condition it is checking and it is evaluated to true and that is why it is coming in this part and after the end of this it is reaching this line and it is printing i am not in if not in else block so if i'll give the value of i variable greater than 15 then it will go to the else part just run it and you can see that i is greater than 15 so this condition is false now it it invoked the else part and it executed the else block and after that it is reaching that part which is not the part of if and also not the part of else. So this is outside of if else. So that is why it is also printing here. So this is pretty much easy. You can try your own code by yourself. So I'm just giving you one example for your home tax. So your home tax is declare a variable i and check that it is positive number or negative number. The pause the video and try it by yourself but remember that you have to use the if else statement. Okay, it's pretty much easy, isn't it? So if you not able to do that, let, uh, let me help you. 
so for that please declare i variable and give one input function take one input function input function and then check if i greater than zero then print positive number else then print negative number and you have to give the symbol here so now you have to run your program and you can see that we have to give our uh, number here so if we'll give 12 here and this is giving one error because we have if i'll take the variable of i like this it will treat it as as a string it will treat it as a string just type int here and surround it with a bracket inside the input function now if you'll run it then you'll be able to see your output here easily so 12 is a positive number again you run and this time you give minus 12 and press enter and you will be able to see that this time it is giving the negative number so this is how you can use if else statement easily in your program hope it is clear for you see you in the next section till then take care bye bye